this is like one of those places that you absolutely have to come if you're anywhere near Chuckanut Drive. This place is amazing. We're Dylan and Jen. We love to eat and drink our way around as we explore new places and then show you the best things we find. We call it Urban Hiking Plus. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. We are currently in Washington State traveling just up north of our home in Seattle to a uh, little area called Bow Edison, which is near uh, Chuckanut Drive, which is another area of interest. We've been to the, uh, these areas several times before, but this is going to be the first time. We're actually going to be staying for several days, and uh, we want to show you the awesome place to go to eat, to do hiking, to do outdoor activities. So this is going to be our Bow Edison and Chuckanut Drive uh, travel guide for you. Going to be arriving at our Airbnb uh, rental, which is right on the Puget Sound. Uh, we're excited to check it out and uh, show you that as well. All right, we arrived at the Alice Bay Guest House. Let's check this place out. So here's what it looks like from the outside. So the downstairs area is sort of a day kitchen sort of thing. And then upstairs is where the, the bedrooms are. This is the upstairs bedroom from the stairs. Kind of check it out. It's a cute little place. It's got uh, one bedroom. Um, just It doesn't even have a TV. It's like super, uh, super basic, but that's a nice part about it. Um, you know, it's got a really awesome view, which is nice. Bathroom is just across the hall, which you can see right here. And then we'll show you the downstairs as well. And then here's the inside of the kitchen. Got a stove, basic uh, kitchen stuff. Um, but the big thing is the view though. I mean, this is just amazing. It's like right on the water right here. Super pretty. There's also a uh, little beach right here. Um, that is a private beach, and we're gonna explore that a little bit. Yeah, this is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. That is the Alice Bay Guest House. Now let's go check out some things to do uh, in and around the area and along Chuckanut Drive. So, Bow Edison is—it's uh, it, an area, but it's actually two towns. Uh, there's Bow Washington and Edison Washington. Uh, but it's kind of called the Bo Edison area for some reason. Uh, so we are traveling on Chuckanut Drive, which is a historic highway here in Washington State. Uh, just north of Seattle, it parallels the Puget Sound, has awesome views, really great road to drive on, even if you're not going to stop, like for instance if you're on your way to Bellingham or something, uh, really great drive. But we're going to show you some of the places that are fun to stop at along the way here on Chuckanet Drive. Alright, so this is Dogfish Point. It seems like it's a normal overlook that's on the side of the highway, but actually uh, there's you know a way to get down to the water. It's a little uh, difficult, it's a bunch of ropes on a really uh, steep slope, but totally worth it once you get down here. Um, and, and apparently during the summer, or well, I mean I guess any time, uh, there's actually a, a nude beach here, but uh, not much, not much of a nude beach now. So it's actually, you know, all along the coast here there's a uh, railroad system uh, that you can kind of see behind me, and so you kind of get down to the bottom of the hill, cross the railroad tracks, and then yeah, you are at uh, Dogfish Point. Check it out. Yeah, so this is the point of Dogfish Point up here. 180 degree views of the sound, pretty amazing. We arrived at Clayton Beach, which is just up north 
from uh, Dogfish Point, and if you don't need a steep climb, this is definitely a place to uh, to come. Uh, really easy walk, short walk from uh, just right off the road to Clayton Beach. Just put in uh, Clayton Beach Trailhead, really easy to find. So when you get to the train tracks, there's a couple ways you can go. You can go to the right, and that has the smaller beach. And if you go to the left, it'll take you to this big beach here that's uh, really long and walkable. So a couple of options. Make sure you don't uh, miss e either of them. They're both pretty neat and worth uh, checking out. Yeah, Clayton Beach has all these really neat rocks that kind of have all these holes in them. Really interesting geology here. We arrived at Teddy Bear Cove. This is another one of those spots that is just right off the the road of Chuckanut Drive. Really easy to get to, and it's not like Dogfish Point, don't worry, you don't have to use any ropes or anything to get down here. Really easy, uh, 10 minute walk down the hill uh, to this nice little cove. So when you get down to the bottom, you cross the railroad tracks, and on the right side there's a little beach, and on the left side there's a little beach, and in the middle there's kind of this uh, big, uh, kind of this big hump that you can also walk on. Uh, that's kind of what you can see behind me. Uh, great place to come and uh, hang out. We come here pretty much every time we're on Chuckanut Drive. It's just so easy to stop at. Um, you know, it's yeah, really, really, you know, easy to just kind of come down, hang out at the beach, uh, walk around. So definitely a good stop when you're on Chuckanut Drive. Taylor Shellfish and this is like one of those places that you absolutely have to come if you're anywhere near Chuckanut Drive. This place is amazing. Even in the winter it's got awesome views. The oysters are super fresh. They have excellent seafood here. Um, it just it's hard to you know explain how great this place is um, and we'll, we'll show you some oysters and some uh, some food here. So uh, yeah check this out. Oh uh, yeah, check these things out. So these are Kumamoto's and so being in the Pacific Northwest, like we're used to oysters, but for those of you who are unfamiliar, we'll kind of give you a little tour of, uh, of oysters. So they come on the half shell um, and you see the, the water in there, that is known as oyster liquor. Um, and we like to eat them just raw, although, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with them. You know, you can put, you know, they have garnish and, you know, like hot sauce and things like that. But we just like them uh, nice and raw. Yeah, it's good. Nice and salty. Um, really has a good creamy finish to it. Kumamoto's are solid oysters. These are, these are, these are great. So obviously we're here during the winter months, but during the summer this whole place is totally packed and there's people out here, uh, they have barbecues, and so people will buy oysters and uh, just hang out here, they'll barbecue them, eat them raw, and this place is awesome. Uh, still a good amount of people here, but uh, not as packed as it is uh, typically during the, the warmer months.
And this is really what makes the Taylor shellfish experience so amazing is the, the view you have here out on this point. Um, and this is actually where they uh, farm the oysters as well, which makes it really cool. So it's actually a working oyster farm. Um, so you get them you know, as fresh as they get pretty much. So as you can see, there's a ton of stuff to do on Chuckanut Drive, but what, what we showed you is just really scratching the surface. There's a lot of other hiking and things to do, um, and if you're looking for some things, some suggestions would be Rock Trail, uh, $2 Trail, and Fragrance Lake. Those are some good ones to check out as well. So the next thing we want to show you is downtown Bow Edison. This is definitely worth a, a stop if you're in the area. Lots of great food, drinks, and uh, fun little shops to check out. So we arrived at downtown Edison. Uh, this place is just off of Chuckanut Drive. Definitely worth a stop. There's lots of places uh, to eat and drink, uh, little uh, quirky boutiques and uh, antique shops. So uh, yeah, we'll show you that now. This is the Bread Farm, which is a f uh, famous local bakery of all sorts of really great artisanal bread. Um, certainly worth stopping by, um, grabbing some bread. Um, you could take it for a picnic, things like that. Looks good. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good. French baguette, yummers. So this is the Longhorn Saloon. We've been here a few times before, and uh, it is during COVID right now, and it's kind of the off season, so it's sort of a you know outdoor seating thing. But during the summer, they've got great outdoor seating, a uh, great place to stop and have a drink, and the food is really good as well. Jen got a Bloody Mary, and I got uh, Kitten Mittens Winter Ale. Kitten Mittens, you'll be smitten. From Closhon Brewing, which is a local Bellingham brewery. Uh, looks pretty good. Oh yeah, nice dark winter ale, got some uh, good flavor to it, um, yeah, nice and malty, I like it. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. But this is the uh, Cajun seafood stew, and it looks great actually, it looks pretty awesome. Oh yeah, look at that, that's a big ol' yummy looking mussel. Oh. And this big ol' shrimp, ooh, that looks yummy. Mm. Yeah, that is great. Super fresh shrimp and the, the Cajun sauce is just amazing. Really good. Really good like toasty, warm, winter kind of kind of dish. And there are big chunks of uh, andouille sausage. Yes, that looks just delightful. Look at that thing. Oh, yummers. Mm. Yeah, you can really tell that that sausage is super fresh. It's not like some store-bought stuff. I, I think, again, they sourced local stuff for even the sausage. This is really, really good. Oh, yeah, and it's got big chunks of cod in there as well. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, that cod is flaky. It just, like, flakes off in your mouth. Again, with the sauce, it gives a lot of really good flavor, but the cod so kind of comes through. Really impressed by this seafood dish. It's pretty solid. Maybe it's just it's kind of like cold outside and it's like good winter comfort food, but I'm loving this. <laughs> nice. What, is, what does the inside look like? Oh, yeah, it looks great. The elk burger. So that is a Longhorn Saloon. I definitely recommend stopping by here. A great place to have a drink and uh, the food is uh, really solid as well. So the Smith and Valley Gallery is worth stopping by and they also have a separate building that has a little sculpture park uh, with rotating sculptures. Very cool. This is the Terramar Brew Stillery and uh, Pizza Place. Really great. Uh, we kind of came on an off uh, weekend. 
uh, so it's a little quiet but normally yeah this place is uh, nice and busy really pl good place to stop by grab a drink and uh, even grab some stuff to go if you have some time be sure to check out Terramar's back patio we hung out and had a tasting flight and all their beers are great but my favorite was the hay porter So this is the Lucky Dumpster. It's one of the many cute shops around here. This place is fun. It's got a lot of uh, quirky, uh, handmade crafts and things. Uh, super fun place. Old Edison Inn, another great place for a uh, stop for a drink and some food. We had some uh, clam strips last time we came here and those were uh, pretty solid. Definitely worth checking out. And this is uh, Mariposa right across the street from the Old Edison Inn. Uh, it's a Mexican place. Uh, usually it's all busy out here, but you know, it's kind of, again, off season and uh, COVID. Uh, but yeah, we want to come back and check this place out. Uh, tacos are always uh, pretty yummy. So there you have it, that is downtown Edison. Uh, I know it seems kind of sleepy from uh, this video, but uh, you know, again, it's COVID, it's kind of the off season. Uh, you know, normally it's uh, nice and busy, lots to do, um, and especially during the summer. So uh, yeah, definitely make a stop if you're on uh, in a round truck and a drive. This place is uh, all sorts of fun. So as you can see, there's tons of stuff to do in the Bo Edison and Chuckanut Drive area. Now, if you're looking to do a trip yourself, there's a few ways to do it, and we've done it various ways, and sort of the three main ways that we, we, we've done it are, so what we're doing this time, we stayed for a few days in uh, right next to Bo Edison, which was really good, um, but we've also, uh, we've stayed in uh, Bellingham, which is just north of, uh, of Chuckanut Drive, kind of at the end. Um, it's about half an hour from uh, from Bo Edison. Um, that's a really good way to do it. It's also really good to do a day trip. So we live in Seattle and we'll do a day trip, um, go up and down Chuckanut Drive, stop and check stuff out. Um, that's also a really good way to do it. So there's a lot of great options. Um, you don't necessarily have to stay uh, overnight, but that's certainly a good way to do it. So thanks for watching. Um, let us know in the comments if we missed anything or if there's changes or if you have any good suggestions on uh, what to do in Bo Edison and uh, Chuckanet Drive. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great travel content. And when you do, click that little bell icon so that you get uh, uh, notifications when our new videos come out. Um, check us out on Facebook as well, Urban Hiking Plus. And yeah, we will see you again in the next video.